Have you ever looked at the stars and wondered why you love them so? They are flickering lights, candles in the tapestry of space, distant, cold, and yet beautiful. Maybe we love them because they are so numerous, rarely are they seen without company. I have lived so many lives in this universe, and all that I have seen, I have not seen on my own. Many friends have stood by my side over the years, and their names are honoured in my heart. I may not know where I am going, but I am not going alone. There have always been those people to go with me, into the darkness, the unknown, to somewhere. My blaster's toast! Do you have a clear shot yet? No, mine's that too. Then what are you doing? We still have those landmines. If we could use the turret blaster, we might be able to get him to stray near one. Hurry up, please. Working on it. Could you work a little faster? What was that? It's returning fire. With what? I don't know. Give me a second or I'll ask. Agent Umbridge is on the line. Can you tell her I'm busy? I heard that, Agent. Ma'am, how are you today? Nice weather, right? I want that thing caught, Ford. We're doing the best we can, Ford. But we could do better, I know. You sound just like a friend of mine. <laughs> Ever been to World War II? He and I barely made it out of there alive. And those soldiers only had primitive weapons. Time trouble, it's killer. Then this should be easy for you. Well done, Mora. And Ford. When you get back to base, I want to have a chat with you about this friend of yours. Let me guess. You've met him already. I'm late. My alarm clock was not near loud enough this morning. You're fine, love. Thank you for having time to meet with me. You seem very nice, Miss Johnson. Oh, please, call me Liv. All right, Liv. You seem very nice, but let's just get to it. What was your question you needed to ask me? Your phone call yesterday sounded urgent, but it's a bit weird for somebody to call and ask for an interview for a paper that the internet hasn't even heard of. I just wanted to know if you've met a man called the Doctor. Why? Because I know that you have. He's a friend. I haven't seen him in a while. We have a long distance friendship. No bother using code love. I've met the Doctor too. Why am I here? What did he look like? Dark hair, kind of curly. Ugly tie, baggy vest, dark eyes. Last time I saw him, he was debonair with a black coat and George Kane. I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound so, well, mean. It's just, the doctor used to travel with a friend of mine and she's gone now. Gone. Died. She died. And it's all his stupid fault. I tried talking about it. To myself, me mom, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> but I just can't stop being angry. I hate him. And I don't like to feel hate. Why am I really here? I just wanted to talk to someone that have met the doctor. We knew the same doctor, didn't we? The first time I met him, yeah, 
He matched your description. He's a self-important idiot. He saved my life, Liv. Did he kill your friend? With his own hands? <sighs> All he said was that she was dead. Did he look regretful, guilty, upset? Just quiet. Liv, he can't have killed your friend. You can't blame him for something. But you weren't there when she died. Were you? No. <laughs> but I feel it every day. The emptiness. She was my best friend. Liv. Liv, you have to let this go. You can't run on hate forever. You just can't. I have to go. I'm sorry I wasted your time. I tried coping. I really did. I tried to change my life around for the better because that's what Tara would have wanted me to do. I just wanted to prove myself that I'm not just what I look like. But I guess I'll never be able to show her that. She was good. Too good. Better than all of us. The reports, Your Majesty. Thank you, Ixtus. I appreciate it. I still don't understand why you're pursuing this. I have to find her. I cannot rule this empire with her on my conscience. I need to see her in person. But what about the choice for an emperor? Have you any choice of suitor? I have ruled for three years now without a man by my side. And so far, it has been the most positive reign since my grandparents. This is important. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must say that as your counsel and your friend, that I do worry about this. I know. And I know you're only looking out for me. But I need to find the ta- I need to find Amira. She is my sister, and I am entitled to that. But why, Your Majesty? Redemption. The doctor taught me greatly about redemption. And I need to see this to an end. I'm keeping a promise. That movie was so good. I don't know, Lily. I think the ending kind of sucked. The ending was perfect. They left plenty of room for a sequel. Do we even want a sequel? You're crazy. Of course we do. I'm going to go wash my hands. Bathroom's upstairs. Second door to the left. Okay. Yeah, it is. So I was texting Kelsey the other day and she seemed convinced that you had a brother or something. I didn't think that you did, but I mean, he could be overseas or at college a thousand miles away or something like that. Do you have a brother? Well, not exactly. I don't really like to talk about it. He used to be something like that, but... Well, let's just say I haven't seen or spoken to him in years. I don't have a brother. Well, I do, and I think I could go a week or longer without him. <laughs> it does have its benefits. Now back to that terrible movie. That movie is a classic. I just don't think so. You're insane. At least I have taste. <laughs> how much I hate coffee, right? You know how much I care, yes? Why are we even here? Because the London Sparrow needs articles about the upcoming autumn events, and it's going to take three of us to plan it. And since Miss Cartwright's well, 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 recovery... Well, stop. Three of us? I Eliza isn't coming today. You know that, right? She might. In the meantime, we can just chit-chat. You are civilized enough for chit-chat, right? So, is Henry Ashton still in psychiatric care? Yes, and I'd rather not think about those particular events. Oh, no, yeah, because because you went crazy in bit two medical professionals. That was funny. Thanks, Tana. Yes, that doctor friend of Eliza's said that it was some kind of chemical or something in that horrid water that made me go all strange. So, so you've met him then? I have. 
And to be honest, there is no way those two are related. He's an odd one. A pretty one. And an odd one. If she's with him right now, then she's not coming today. I mean, I don't understand why she doesn't just quit if she's never going to come back to work. Have a little faith. It's not like she's disappeared off the face of the planet. Yeah, yeah, sure. Whatever. Mind if I sit? Oh, um, sure. Lovely day, isn't it? I suppose. I haven't seen an English sky this blue. I hear it's even more beautiful in the Caribbean. Much of a traveler? Uh, I hadn't been until recently. And now I go just about everywhere. My life's a bit all over the place. Really? What kind of places have you been to? Oh, uh, abroad, here and there, all over the place, like I said. Oh, okay. Life was a lot simpler before all this happened. I had a steady job at a local paper. I kind of had good friends and life wasn't overly complicated. I could handle it. And then I met, I met this person who completely changed everything. And what do I do? I try to keep up. It's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. It's good to be out of your comfort zone. I would love to escape mine. See the world, go to places where the stars are brighter and clearer. The water is bluer and the sky is empty and free. The Caribbean? Anywhere really, even the States. Just to get out there and see it all. <laughs> it is fantastic. But I also think it's important to find the quiet, the peace of mind. I love what I do, really I do. But I think I took for granted the daily routine. Every moment in life has a purpose. It all has a meaning, whether it's wild or not. Don't you think? Yeah, maybe. Every moment counts, boring or not. And I have really yet to experience the wild or crazy part, but I will let you know. You know, you're doing what I've always dreamed of, traveling. What makes you want to travel? My brother. He died not too long ago. I keep a picture of him in my locket. Keep it close to my heart. I want to see it all for him. Make the most of it. Every second counts when you're traveling. And it's not about the pictures or the brochures or the smell of the tropics on your clothes. It's about the experience, just being there. It was nice meeting you. And please, enjoy yourself when you get back to your traveling. For me. If it helps, I think a complicated life is better than a boring one. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is. There. Comfortable? The appropriate adjustments have been made. I am, quote, comfortable. Good. I hope it's not too cramped in there. The outer dimensions of the hardware do not affect the cyberspace dimensions of the software. Bigger on the inside. <laughs> Tell me about it. Query. Previous statement was rhetorical? Yes. You're learning. Traveling in the software of this device has been a satisfactory experience. Much more satisfactory than the previous Ashton model. 
You usually keep to yourself in there. What do you do all day? I frequent the operational logs. Find anything interesting? I have identified the programming error that has prevented you from opening certain cast iron locks. Ah, so our next visit to the Caribbean in the colonial era should go more smoothly. This unit could advise you to avoid prisons in aforementioned time frame. Ah, but where's the fun in that? Hey Ten, could you do me a favor? Instruct. Could you do something with the wood setting? No setting exists. Then you see my point. This unit will attempt to write new programming. This will take time. Take all the time you need. We're not going anywhere. Morning. Oh, sleep well? For the fifth night in a row. Yes, I did. Okay. I've waited for you to tell me like a respectable alien being, but enough. Out with it. And by it, you mean... Why are we here? Can't stand the peace and quiet after our recent escapades? Doctor, you may be alien, but as far as I'm concerned, nonverbal cues are universal. Tell me. You really want to know? If you kindly. Do you ever get the feeling that you might be lost? Down by the shops without my mum when I was six years old. Yeah, I know the feeling. No, not like that. With a TARDIS we can go anywhere. But I feel mostly aimless, I guess. Sorry about all the near-death experiences, by the way. Thank you. What else is on your mind? Do you want to go home? What does that mean? Do you want to go home? Stop traveling with me and return to the life you're accustomed to? Do you want that? D do you want me to leave? No, I just... People come and go for all sorts of reasons. Because they're overwhelmed, because they can't stay. Or, sometimes, they die. This is your out. Your choice. I'll respect whatever decision you make. Why are you asking me now? I had a friend, Tara. She died. Lived, left, Baylor couldn't stay. This is your opportunity. No strings attached, no questions asked. Do you want to go home? I'll think about it. Okay. 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 In the meantime, I have something I want to show you. Come on! Hey! Dr. Smith, it's been years. Fifteen or more, I'd wager. Oh, just thought I'd visit a neighbor. Funny. You should never do move in, did you, Doctor? No, I didn't. Just thought I'd visit my home away from home for a time. Take a walk under the stars. Home away from home? This lane? Oh, the whole country, actually. I'm a frequent visitor to England, but a visitor nonetheless. May I sit? What really brings you back here? Your daughter. She lives in London now. Writes for newspaper. I know. I've had the chance to get to know her through her work. She's turned out to be quite a wonderful young woman. She was always smart. I told her that every day. Even when she didn't feel smart. I told her she could be anything and do anything she set her mind to. Now she can. You tell her about next Friday. What's next Friday? I've met someone. Really? What's her name? Karen. Met her when I transferred departments at work. I'll tell Eliza after the third date or so. I want to see if this sticks or falls through. So she doesn't get her hopes up. 
Because if she gets her hopes up, so will you. Yeah. When Emma died, my heart was full. Full of love for her and longing for her. And love for our Eliza. Now after 16 years, I think there may be space for something more. Take your time. But as long as you tell her. Always tell her the truth. That advice you gave me, Doctor, changed my life. I only gave you words. You used them to help yourself and your daughter to a better life. It's because of you that she's become the way she is. The finest example of a true human being. Rational, emotional, soft in the heart, but sharp in the brain. Stubborn and ready to let go when the time is right. You haven't aged a day. Not looking too bad yourself. Well, I coloured the grey as best I could. For the day. The rest is down to good genetics. Age has changed you, Denny. For the better, I think. Who are you? A friend. Why? Why all those nights ago were you there? I go where I see a need. What did I need? Someone to understand you. Not to pity you or define you. I know loss, Danny. I know time. I know some people better than they know themselves. I wanted to help. You're a rather odd choice for a guardian angel. I am no angel. It's good to see you, Danny. Have fun on your date. And if you find yourself wondering if Karen Douglas has a nice ring to it, don't panic. It may just be time for change. And change is good. Change motivates us all. Sometimes in the best of ways. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, my friend. It's beautiful. I know. What is this place? It has a number, not a name. I like that. A nameless view on a nameless world. Unspoiled beauty. And there's more like this out there. The universe is so big and scary, but it's oh so beautiful. You just have to know where to look. If you're trying to convince me to stay, you're doing a stunning job. <laughs> it's your decision. Is it? How can I say no to all of this? It's just a word. Oh, shut up, Doctor. You know it's not that easy. How can I go home now? I'm not ready yet. There's so much to see. And I've got to enjoy it all while I still can. So, are we going home? Don't you ever listen to me. I'm staying, you moron. You'd better get used to me. I don't think that'll be hard. <laughs> you, me, and the universe, eh? Doctor, where are we going? I don't know. But we're gonna get there. To somewhere.